How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about OpenRGB and how you can boot it up with your Windows OS. Now I hear a lot of problems that you guys have and you're curious how you can finally start this program up with your Windows so that way your RGBs can stay synchronized in harmony. And I want to update you guys on everything about OpenRGB because there will be a newer version coming out. Check this out real quick. This is open RGB 0.6. Hey fam bam, I'm really excited to share with you what the upcoming release of 0.6. As you know, open RGB is currently on 0.5 and this update will include so much more in there such as better plugin managers and they will even have some Mac support here for Intel and ARM processors. The best part is that device support. I know all of you guys that do have MSI, that have MSI components or MSI motherboards, it looks like there is some support on their way with OpenRGB. Hopefully there will be less bricking and less issues when this release does come out. Of course, they will have better support for HyperX, they have Yeelight, and they even have Corsair's keyboard, K55. They do have some NZXT on its way for better support for the uh, Q2 Underglow. And there's even a Red Dragon's K556 controller for their keyboard. So there's a lot of new device support upcoming in this version of OpenRGB. There is also better direct modes, static modes. There's a lot more added to this version of OpenRGB. And guys, of course, if you install this very new version, the most exciting thing I have to say is that it will support MSI. If you do already have MSI and you don't want to take the necessary risk, that's perfectly understandable because please take note and take caution when you install OpenRGB, of course, it is not a perfected program just yet. It's still a pr open source program that is being worked on. And when you do install OpenRGB, please know the risk and be careful and you will do perfectly fine. Now, I'm gonna get into a little bit further detail into OpenRGB and how you can start up with your windows. If you're not familiar with OpenRGB, it syncs with any RGB such as Corsairs, Razors, Logitech, asus gigabyte and the list goes on and on of course currently there isn't support for msi but as you can see in future development that they are definitely working on something like that if you don't have open rgb make sure you check it out in the card above me and install it make sure you follow each and every step because i see many comments where it can be resolved if they just watch the whole video. Now I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do in order for OpenRGB to work with your Windows OS. But first, if you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also to join the big wonderful fan band where we love to talk about PC and tech stuff. Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. Let me get straight into it because I know you want to see how you can get open RGB working with your PC. All right, fam bam. So first things first is you got to make sure that all your services are off. All you have to do is right click, go to your task manager, go to your services and shut off whatever lighting services that your PC will have. So for my PC, I currently have IQ. We're also going to go down to lighting services and we're going to stop that as well. Now, all motherboards are different. Just make sure you find out your manufacturer motherboard. And if you have a gigabyte motherboard, make sure you shut their, down their services. If you have a HROC motherboard, make sure you shut down their services and so on. Now we're going to open up open RGB and it should be right here. I have it on my desktop. I'm going to right click open RGB and make sure you run it as administrator. Click yes. So once you have your open RGB, make sure you have all the settings that you like. You want to save your profile here and you're going to type a name. We'll hold this uh, primary. We'll save it and now we'll exit out. The next step is you're going to right click it. We're going to create a shortcut here. And send to desktop. And after we create our shortcut for it, all you have to do is open up your file explorer and go up here to the address bar. All you have to do is type in percentage app data 
percent then put backslash Microsoft and you should see something come up so you go here and then you go into Windows you go into start menu you go into programs then you go to startup now with the shortcut all you have to do is you drag it right here you click on open RGB right click and go into properties Make sure you go to the target box right here and this is where you're going to want to put in parameters. The best way to go about it is I just put GUI, start minimized and I'm going to put server. I'm not going to add the profile because I might select a different profile when I start my PC, but you can always add dash dash profile and then type the name of the profile like primary.org. But we're going to we're not going to add profile to this startup and we're going to hit apply. And of course you want to make sure you put it into your app data, Roman, Microsoft windows, start menu programs, startup and put the shortcut here. You're more than welcome to rename the shortcut. And now we're going to reboot the PC to see if it works well. We'll be right back. PC is just booting up now. And as you can see, we have open RGB ready to go. Now you can go to your profiles this way and I can set it just right under primary, just like how I like it. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you got any questions, make sure you put it down in the comments down below because either me or anyone of the fan bam is more than willing to help each other out because we all love our RGBs. And of course, if you want to enjoy more tech stuff like this, make sure you go down to join the wonderful fan bam right down here and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and make sure you follow my social following right here as it's not only on Twitter, but I'm also on every other platform such as IG and TikTok as well. So fan bam, what do you think of open RGB? Is it a program that you really like or is there something that you would love to see in open rgb let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out